Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are going to do a general read to see what your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts if you made it through, purple hearts if it resonates, green hearts if you're working on it, yellow hearts if you rock with me. I got my six me to have my back because I have yours. We are going to pull from the zodiac into the Intuit Oracle Zodiac 108 deck and see. What energy comes out? We're going to discuss the topic. Whoa, a labyrinth. You've been lost or delayed or in some type of complex situation and therefore cats. Um, apathetic. It says disinterested, aloof, my way or the highway, bored. Yeah, you're over the situation. We have the constellations. Yeah, you're uh, only counting on the stars. I always tell you, if the sun, the moon, and the stars don't come out, we have a problem. So you're looking into the universe. That's a cancer card. It shows uh, the cancer here. And um, we have Gemini, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, air energy, and the gavel. Decisions have been made when it comes to you feeling laws delayed or it says a catch-22. You're over the situations. You're over it, and therefore, when it comes to a friendship, that's what you're looking for right now. You don't want to be a third-party situation. You're finding your soul tribe. Unsure energy of the grapes come out, the abundance bearing all fruit. Yeah, you planted a seed, and at the end of the day, the things didn't happen the way they need to, so the adventure happens for you. You're going on an adventure. Um, yeah, very likely at this time, the situation, the outcome is likely to occur. So whatever happens, basically, you're relying on the universe you know uh yeah look at all the cards that come out a large quantity a large amount or quantity uh yeah declaration you're making a pact to yourself this is a declaration of independence it says defiance reclaiming your power sovereignty contracts resolve expression truth manifesto self-rule liber uh, liberty or death rules of the game protesting challenging the status quo so guess what you're doing moving forward you're setting boundaries you're not letting anything stop you from doing this thing we call life there's the tools you got the tools in their belt childhood energy this person could be childish or some type of innocence that you had to look at when it comes to maybe there's children involved telephone it has to be a certain type of communication roundabout is here you're not going roundabout you don't care about the air energy or that air energy and their hot air balloon them always talking or you know if it's not about elevating you become the master and the pioneer of this situation and so therefore with the yacht you know the yacht is adventure influence luxury mobility travel great ease smooth sailing sophisticated wind uh with the wind um it says self-indulgent prosperity comfort health, wealth over the top and extravagant but the grapes come out and and it's it's unsure abundance bearing fruit harvest fertility um it says prosperity surplus fullness juicy overindulgent overindulge tempting goodness plentiful wealth enjoy the fruits of, of your labor so again you're not interested in the you know back and forth and so with the roundabout it's like it's been through a maze dealing with this person who you want more than just a friendship with but you're over it you have already you know made the decision on what you want to do a uh, person of air eloquent rational up upright uh, controlling, uh, quick-witted, unemotional, sarcastic, cold, abrupt, critical, calculated. It says teacher, lawyer, surgeon, journalist, or chef. So maybe you're dealing with somebody who thinks that they are, um, you know, some type of person who makes the final decisions, but you're writing out the blueprint of the things. And therefore, you're realizing that you, if you're not interested anymore, you know, you're disengaged, you know, it's no more cool, calm, and collective for you. You're just going to go ahead and move forward. And do things but you have the tools in the in your belt that you need to move forward but again you just had to see things in a new light these cards come out this uh different cards same energy you're over it and this could be that you're dealing with the air energy but you're the master you're the one that's making the rules you know why you let people play games and think that they have all the tools and you know the gift of gab and can do everything you have the power to control any situation because guess what you're the pioneer you're the phoenix you're the one who rises from the ashes you're the one who creates uh different blueprints for people to follow you're the one who is always there for the people to fall down on and you are the one who shows them how to get back up so moving forward you are the one that's making yeah cutting your losses i'm just saying bottom of the deck so many choices card number seven so little time so 
Again, you plant the seed, seven of pentacles, excuse me, seven of pentacles energy. You planted the seed, could be seven years. You've been patient, but now you realize I need to heal myself. This person has caused you to feel some type of way, and now you're listening to your heart. The um, ninth house is, um, and I hope this is the ninth house because I sure, can, I keep saying the ninth house, but anyway, uh, risk, adventures, philosophy, and wisdom, and optimism. So you're looking at things when it comes to Basically, your your chakras of the grounding, getting your personal power back, you know, like your solar plex chakra, your sacral chakra, and your root chakra. So we'll see at the end when we do the when we pull from the crystal deck, we'll see at the end what it what chakras you were working on or need to work on. But you're cutting your losses again. No more moving forward. No more planting seeds. Grapes coming out. It just lets you know that seven of pentacles being here at the bottom of the deck. So many choices and yet so little time. You've waited. Excuse me, so long in order for you to just finally make a decision about this friendship or whatever the situation ship is, because again, they are so uh, cold and sarcastic and trying to control and very unemotional, but they're quick with it to have the gift of gab to you know be full, um, feel filled with hot air, and also they don't know how to communicate. Only they can communicate the bullshit. Oops, I said I wasn't gonna curse, but again, I'm listening to my heart. Hey, if it comes out, it does. But you know. The roundabout, they keep you going round and around and the adventure doesn't start with them, you know. So again, you making a decision to rewrite history uh, because you've already planted the seed is why we are here. So again, um, you needed to heal and that's basically where you start off at and then where you end is like you're cutting your losses when it comes to certain things. Yeah. So look at the card. Yeah. Lion, pride, ego and strength. You're recognizing your strength. Does it come in the form of looking like ego? Yeah. Yeah. Because that's the only way that you'll be able to deal with this person and make the decisions of realizing that you're bored and you waited and you've been going back and forth and only for yet. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So the mirror and the Spider-Man comes out. Reflection, mirroring, and self-awareness. You had to use ego in order and logic in order to deal with this person. And that's why. Because if you didn't, they feel like they're invincible and that they don't have any type of self-awareness or reflection that they need to do. They feel like they're the gift that keeps on giving pink box, you know, the gift, you know, uh, keepsake. They feel like they're the keepsake because again, you know, they are unemotional. They're controlling sarcastic and cold. And again, when it comes to this energy being here, yeah, abandon and neglect, they neglect you and they abandon you every time. And you're just over it. And again, the will of fortune, uh, Fate, chance, destiny, and fortune uh, comes about with the roundabout and also the labyrinth. They keep pulling you back and forth, but you're asking from energy, uh, from your spirit guides, dark shades, incognito and discreet. They probably wear those Ray-Bans, right? Uh, them black Ray-Bans so nobody can see their eyes. But the thing is, is that they, you don't have to see their eyes to see through their bullshit and know that this person is uh, portraying something that they really aren't. It's because deep down inside, they're hurt. They're a little kid. Where's the kid? Childhood, innocence, playful, growing, friendship, light, lightness of being, foundations, need others, need of others, um, revisit, revisit the past. Yeah, they need of uh, they need people um, to keep them feeling invincible, but they need to revisit the past. Loving life, no worries, inexperience, growth, and new beginnings. They need to have a new beginnings because they hide behind these glasses in regards to uh, why they don't want to be emotional. Or, or um, even uh, they're unemotional. I said be emotional. They hide behind them so they're unemotional and they're sarcastic and cold because they know that they have things to work on. And so that is how I see this. They need to revisit the past. And that is why things are happening the way they are when it comes to this person. And that's how I see it. So, you know, the thing is, is that you're in separation with this person because they have so much going on that you're just tired of dealing with it. I'll pull from the Yin Yang Oracle deck and then maybe another deck. And then we're going to pull from the um, four agreements. Uh, yeah, they need to have a, uh, um, what is it? A dark night of the soul. Uh, moon energy is here. They need to see their shadow side for what it is because they play these games with people who they can play them with. But you, you allowed them to pay it. Seven years is out here. You know, yeah. 
and now you got them out of their comfort zone and so you're not clinging to the situation you're out of your comfort zone they're they're going they're getting out of their comfort zone but you're trusting in divine timing this is the third time this card has come out within the last three readings um yeah and you're recognizing your strength so therefore their incognito bullshit is something that you already seen through but you are so patient could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or Earth energy. But, you know, you're so patient when it comes to the lack that they put you in and the doubts. Uh, you've been so patient in regards to the lack and the doubts that, you know, now you're using your, your, your ego and recognizing your strengths coming out twice so that you can let them, you know, not necessarily let them reflect on your energy being moved away. Their, their uh, dark night of the soul that they have to happen is because of the way that they abandon and neglect people. The thing is, is difference from you is that you're not clinging to this, but you're trusting in divine timing. Does that make sense? These reads keep coming out the same exact way, um, whether I pull tarot or not. They come out the same exact way because it's something that, you know, you have to do is cut your losses and move forward and let this person see what life is like without you. Seven years of you being okay or not necessarily okay but at their call when they call you answer and now here it is you're not doing that anymore so they have to reflect that sarcastic cold energy they're seeing what it feels like you know how you go outside in this cold and the the smoke uh the the fog or what is it called um the air uh you see the the coldness coming out of your uh your breath or whatever the coldness you see that that's what they're feeling and so that's what this card kind of reminds me of when i said that because you see the smoke around you know but that's with you trusting in divine timing and understanding that you recognizing your strengths and that you are the master you are the pioneer let me read to you pioneer it says um well let's listen the master discipline working smart Focus, structure, teaching, training, conquer, overcome, control, learning a skill, in the flow, author, uh, author, authoritarian, author, I cannot say it, anyway, commanding presence, and it says the pioneer, boldness, destination or bust, the cutting edge, long journey, trailblazing, true grit, um, challenging, or challenge, navigating, uncharted territory, resourceful team, got your six, that's why I say I got your six, meaning have my back because I have yours, you're the pioneer unflappable courage you are the one that's going to persevere through all of this stuff you're going to start doing things a little bit differently so yeah thank them thank them and move forward thank them send them strength and healing because you know what no man is your enemy no man is your friend every man is your teacher this person place thing or situation was here to teach you a lesson and it uh, basically said you need to heal and you need to cut your life losses and understand that the risk that you take um by you following your heart and just knowing at the end of the day that this person doesn't have your best interest at least right now until they go through this dark night of the soul and get out of this ego based energy and you know and become vulnerable and, and let you see things the way that things need to be then right now what's happening is that you will always be in this situation so again don't take it personally when this person does this you're transforming your life i mean i can't say it any clearer transform your life it says uh, when you refuse to take things personally, you avoid many upsets in your life. Your feelings of anger, jealousy, and even your sadness will simply disappear. If you don't take things personally, it'll disappear if you don't take things personally. You'll give them opportunities. You'll make them have nothing to do but to, uh, when you send strength and healing, show them a different way. They're not God's gift to green earth. They need to reflect. They need to understand what they're doing. They're, you're mirroring the energy of ego that they give to you and everybody else. And therefore, they need to realize that they're not invincible. And this sarcastic, cold, controlling, abrupt, critical energy is, is for the birds. It's not for you. And so, therefore, you're trusting in divine timing. It's been seven years or more. Um, seven years when it says a uh, little time, little too late or whatever like that. Um, that is the seven of pentacles. Each pentacle is equivalent to a year. And those pentacles let you know that you've planted the seed. Again, you planted the seed. You've been patient. You've been going around. You have the tools that you need. You're trusting in the divine time in the universe. And therefore, they have to work this shit out on their own. But that's what the universe said. It's about, st it's about growth. It's about strength. And it's about empowering yourself. In order to see your your that you're the master and you're the pioneer of this, and they can only play the games, but yeah, you are the one that's living this life. They don't know how to do it, so they're gonna rely on. They've been relying on your energy. When they feel down, they come and and make you feel like shit, and then you turn around, heal back again. They leave, and then you come back. They come back when they feel like, oh, okay, I got you where I want you. You know, now I'm gonna eat you. When they feel like they've, you know. 
you know, gotten your energy and they're, they taking your energy and, you, you know, basically made you feel like, oh, I need to just sleep. And then once you reheal from them being there, they turn around and do it again. They come back around, but you're understanding this deals with all the chakras, not just the houses, but all the chakras. So cut your losses and know that you've done your best. Let's talk about the chakras. So we have the solar pillar chakra. The solar plex chakra is your optimistic energy, your clarity, your personal power. You're taking your personal power back. You're taking it back. You're realizing that you have the tools to your belt, under your belt. You have the, you're the master and the pioneer, and you don't deal with the bullshit anymore. No discreet energy. The sacral chakra is your emotions, your intimacy, and your confidence. You're taking your confidence back. You're letting them mirror the things that they used to do to you. And it's like um, the Ebenezer Scrooge moment when Ebenezer Scrooge has to be faced with all the things that he's done in the past and you know somebody actually really sitting there and you trusting in divine timing to show them when you stop clinging and being comfortable with being uncomfortable right and so that's your emotions emotions intimacy and your um confidence the root chakra is your survival stability and also you grounding yourself you have to be able to be the emperor no matter if you're emperor or empress you have to know to be able to to survive and you always do because you're the master you're the pioneer respectfully you dumb yourself down to be with people like this because you just want them to to you want to see the best out of them you have the you make the assumptions that they really get to the point that they have the potential to be anything that you put into them and that they want to be and you keep pushing and pushing and pushing and waiting for them to see the beauty that you give to them the strength the 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 um, energy that you always give to them and what they take from you you don't really care about what they take until it just becomes disrespectful and that's how i see it when you just really sit down and look at it and say i gotta cut my losses and listen to my heart because it's hurting and i need to heal myself so that's when you start to really make a uh, impact on this person and make them actually do i have no choice but to heal that's what you're sending strength and healing you're not taking anything personal makes sense so the crown chakra your spirituality your selflessness and the wisdom your belief system you have to unlearn to relearn unlearn the things that you've been taught to relearn the things about setting boundaries and why you have to be impeccable with your words not make assumptions don't take things personally because at the end of the day you've done your best the third eye chakra, the intuition, perception, and understanding. You know that saying what's understood doesn't have to be explained? Well, if you explain and you say everything that you need to say, you don't make assumptions. You say the things and you say the say the things you mean and mean the things that you say. You set the boundaries. You draw the line in the sand and say, don't cross these boundaries. Moving forward with anybody, even somebody coming back, or even family members. If you do that, you turn around and you don't have to explain yourself. So when you cut them off, Nine times out of ten, they handed you the scissors. And so that is how I see that. So then we have um, the throat chakra, your communication, expression, and trust yourself and trust. What you, if you trust in everything that you express and trust in your sayings and everything that you, you, you do say and the reason you're being, then nobody can ever get to that point to where you're afraid to, you know, make they make you afraid to express yourself. You're going to say what you want. Yours is going to be a little bit different, but they, because, again, you're softer. When it comes to how you get your point across, unless somebody makes you feel abandoned and neglected, then you start saying it is saying what you mean. And that's your queen of swords energy. Stand up for yourself. Always speak your mind. Don't take shit from anyone. So then we have the heart chakra. That's your, the ability to love, to be harmonious and to forgive. Send strength and healing, period. That's it. Send strength and healing, period. Send strength and healing that this person heals. That they have the strength to heal. It's hard to heal. You know what it feels like. You know what it feels like going through this and having to step outside of your faith or do something that you don't want to do because you don't want to ruffle any feathers. But you know that time is here and you have to trust in divine timing. So this is manifestation, amplification and resolution. I easily and clearly visualize what visualize what I wish to manifest. So you're manifesting things and right now you're focusing on um, why you need to heal listening to your heart your houses taking risk and cutting your losses so that's how i see that now let's let this old energy go i now let go of worn out conditions of lack doubt hate negativity procrastination stagnation sadness generational curses debt bad energies heartbreak bad health and addictions remember addictions can be to a person place thing or a situation i love you guys